Hi, I'm Dr. Kent Williamson, Chief of Surgery at Providence St. Vincent Medical Center. Thank you for choosing us for your upcoming surgery. I want you to know that our magnet designation will assure that you will receive the highest quality compassionate care possible. At Providence, our focus is on you, to know you, to care for you, and to ease your way. At Providence St. Vincent Medical Center alone, we perform over 17,000 operations every year. But for right now, the focus is on you and making sure things go well for you. I would like to introduce you to several staff members that you will encounter along your stay with us. Hi, my name is Shelley, and I'm one of the registered nurses in the pre-surgical care clinic. Here at the clinic, we'll help prepare you for your upcoming surgery. This may be done in person or over the phone. If you don't have this visit, everything will be done on the day of surgery. For those of you seen in person, your visit may include pre-op lab work and an EKG. Your surgeon may also request a visit with our hospital doctor for pre-operative medical clearance. When you talk with the nurse, you will need a complete list of your medical allergies, medications including over-the-counters, herbals and supplements, as well as previous surgeries. Hi, my name is Nicole and I am one of the registered nurses in our short stay area. We are going to follow one of our patients so you have an idea of what to expect on your day of surgery. As you arrive at the hospital, you will come in the main hospital entrance. Then just follow the signs to the surgical waiting area. This is where you check in and get your name band and patient tracking badge. This badge will help the staff know your location as you travel through the surgery area. Your surgeon's office will tell you what time to check in on the day of surgery. All times for surgery cases are estimates. Cases may start before or after the estimated time based on the length of the case or cases ahead of them. There is a television in the room or you may want to bring something to help pass the time. Because of our safety measures, you will be asked your name and date of birth many times. You'll be escorted back to your room where you are given a warm gown to change into. You will also be given a bag for your belongings. Remember, please don't bring valuables, including jewelry, to the hospital. Please bring a copy of your medication list with the dosages and the times you take them. One of our pre-op staff will check your vital signs and make sure you are comfortable. You are also welcome to have one friend or family member accompany you to the pre-op room. When your RN arrives, they will review your medical history and medications. We will also talk to you about the pain scale, which will be used during your hospital stay. Before you leave for the operating room, your nurse will place an IV. Many of our patients will have compression devices placed on their legs to assist with blood flow. Because your safety is our number one priority, each person who comes in contact with you will follow our hand washing policy. Research has shown that hand washing is the best way to prevent infections. If at any time you have questions, concerns, or special needs, we encourage you to speak up. Use your call light to contact our staff. We want you and the person waiting with you to be comfortable. If you are having surgery on a specific side of the body, for your safety, your surgeon will mark the side they are working on. If there are changes in your surgery time, the staff will keep you informed. If at any time you have questions about your surgery start time, just ask. Before you are taken to the operating room, you will meet your OR nurse and anesthesiologist. A family member or friend waiting for you will be given a pager. The pager will alert them when it is time to return to the waiting area where your doctor will meet with them to explain how your surgery went. The pager will alert them a second time when you are being transferred to your room. If you are being admitted to the hospital, the staff will let your family know when your room number has been assigned. If you are going back to the short stay unit to be discharged home, the staff will let your family member know when they are able to come back to see you. As you can see, there will be a team of people caring for you during your stay. Hi, my name is Courtney and I'm one of the registered nurses in the operating room. My main responsibility is to be your advocate while you are asleep. One of the questions we will ask you is regarding previous surgeries, especially any type of implant that you may have placed, such as stents, pacemakers, or defibrillators. This helps us to know where to safely place equipment in the operating room. We will also want to know if you have had any joints with limited movement so that during surgery we can position you safely and comfortably. 
Once your anesthesiologist has finished interviewing you and we are ready for you in the operating room, they will wheel you back into the OR. When you arrive in the operating room, you will notice that it may be bright, loud, and busy. Your anesthesiologist will remain at your bedside, carefully monitoring you throughout your entire surgery. You will never be left alone. The safety checks that were started in your pre-op room will continue in the OR. I'm Stephanie, one of the registered nurses in the recovery room. You may hear us referred to as the PACU or the Post Anesthesia Care Unit. Based on the type of anesthesia you receive, you may bypass the PACU and be taken directly to your post-op room. All of our registered nurses in the PACU have had specialized training in caring for patients who have undergone anesthesia. While you're in the recovery room, your heart rate, oxygen level, and blood pressure will be closely monitored. Your nurse will ask you to rate your pain level using the pain scale that you were shown in pre-op. Please be sure to let your nurse know how you are feeling. Hi, I'm Lynn, another one of the registered nurses in the short stay unit. When you leave the recovery room, you may be admitted to the hospital, or if the plan is that you go home later the same day, you will return to the short stay post-op area. Our skilled staff will take compassionate and excellent care of you. Our safety measures such as hand washing will continue throughout your hospital stay. We will also continue to use the pain scale for pain management evaluation. In order to be discharged after surgery, we want to make sure that you have been up out of bed, are tolerating fluids, and that your pain level is acceptable. If you are going home the same day, you must have a responsible adult to drive or accompany you home. We advise that you have someone to spend the night with you at home. Your nurse will review the post-op instructions with you before discharge. We have a pharmacy that is open until 6 p.m. if you choose to have your prescription filled there. Be sure and bring your insurance card with you on the day of surgery. Unless you have restrictions, we encourage walking, a healthy diet, and adequate fluid intake to help you with your recovery. Your surgeon and their office are available should you have questions once you have been discharged. You can find their phone number on your discharge paperwork. If you have questions or concerns outside of normal business hours, the answering service for your surgeon can page the on-call physician for you. Thank you for choosing Providence St. Vincent Medical Center for your surgery. We look forward to meeting you and look forward to the opportunity to care for you.